Hey, what's up guys? Thank you for tuning in. Today I got a cosplay video. This is brought to you by the Shinry Series and Legendary Toys. Uh, just check the description, check out their Instagram. Um, Shinry Series is an amazing book. Please guys, let me know what you guys think about his book. Let's get right into it. So today what I bring you here guys is a cosplay video. It's an Iron Man video. Well, Iron Man related video. What I'm gonna tell you guys is how I 3D printed this helmet with the support. I actually use the Creality 3, 3D slicer software. Uh, I forgot what you call it, but I'm not using Cura or uh, Prusa or anything like that. I'm using the Creality one because it's less complicated for me. So I'm gonna talk about the supports that I gave the helmet. Um, I'm gonna start with, start with the faceplate. Actually, this was very hard for me because when I was trying to print it, uh, I actually, the first time I tried to print it, it, I tried to put it straight up like that. So the print was a fail. When I was trying to make the supports in the bottom, it wouldn't do it. So this was a trial error that went around for six, seven times because I tried to do it like this and it, it wouldn't work. So what I had to do, I don't know if you guys can see it, what I had to do was put the, the face plate like this, not straight, like straight this. It's, it's, it's funny how it works. So I tried to push a little bit to the front. I got a lot of stringing on the side, on the back of it. I really don't know why. But then the supports came out from here to here to hold the, this part of the face plate, I guess because it was in a slanted direction, so they needed the support for this top part. So uh, these are the supports that it did. They actually did a support here in the mouth and in the eyes and inside the eyes. I think that support, but I got a lot of stringing. I really don't know why. Maybe it was the way my printer is set up. Um, with that, I actually tried to do it like this too, but this was a fail. It would actually do, it will start really good. And then around here, around this area, the pr print will keep going, but the parts will actually fall off the bed of the printer. Then the uh, printer will keep going by itself. So I'll get a lot of string in, uh, loose material. And thank you for Legendary Toys for giving me some of his PLA to actually make this happen. Please guys, um, like his uh, content on Instagram. So then this was how I was able to do it. Uh, and it came out good, actually, thank God. Um, we're gonna take off the supports. Uh, it's very easy to take these supports out. And, um, oh, shit. Yeah, so if you see it, this support is like that. So it's very easy, it just it makes everything so much better, though. I love it. And actually, you can see through this. You can see the shape and everything through the, through the whole thing. I'll show you guys later. So this this is how it, was, how it did it. it. It was very good, this whole thing. It was a nightmare. I think this was one of the hardest thing, harder, hardest parts I had to 3D print because of the shape of it and everything is just, it was really a nightmare for me because I didn't want to waste material. Material is money and money is money. So it was very difficult because of the shape of that, of the face plate. So remember guys, you have to slant it a little so you can get support here because this is the heaviest part. I tried to do upside down, didn't work. I was actually thinking about doing it like this after, but I didn't have to because then the problem, the support will stick to it and you have a bad, bad, bad experience taking it off. I'm gonna show you why next. So that was the face plate. So I'm gonna uh, show you the top of the helmet. This one was very easy. Uh, I actually follow Frankie Bill. He's a YouTuber that is doing his uh, Mark 50 armor. And I, I'm looking at his videos because he did an amazing job. I really, I'm not trying to copy his ideas, but I'm trying to learn from it. So I'm not trying to, you know, take advantage of his knowledge. So what I did here, he was explaining why 
he doesn't print helmets like this because it, then it takes all the support there and you waste most of your PLA on support. So he said to do it upside down. I had a bunch of failures with this because I was doing it like this. And then it will create a raft in the bottom. But the problem with that raft is that sometimes it wouldn't hold this and then it will create supports in some areas. So trial error, I started it like this. It didn't print good. It was a failure. I saw a lot of stringing. So around four or five times, then I decided to print it here. So I got all the support here and it just a little bit of support here and it built this whole thing. It was really good. It was actually the best one I could do. So it was like this because you could use less support and it's a strong print. But the problem with that is that, I don't know if you guys can see this. See how the support just got there. So when I took it off, it's, it's hard. So I really have to sand it. It's a rough surface, it's not smooth. I got a little, uh, here in this helmet, it goes from here, it's, it's a little drop down. So I really have to sand it and then feel a little bit so it looks round enough on this whole thing. I think because of that weight of, <clears throat> of this and everything, the support just stays like that because it's gonna be a strong part. It's gonna be a heavy part. So it has to do it like that. But uh, this is it's easy, you just, Sandy, I actually have a rotary tool and thank you for Legendary Toys for providing it. And then you just smooth it out and then there's all the ways to smooth it out. But if you get this, it's better than losing a lot of PLA in the inside because then that's bad. Then you, you waste most of your PLA for that. So that's the other one like this. Remember guys, straighten out because if you get it like this, sometimes the, the weight gain takes over and it makes your print fail. That was one. And this part is, uh, goes with this. This is the bottom of the helmet and this is the other part that goes attached here. This was the easiest one because all I did was place it on the bed of the printer. I placed it a little bit like this. So you get a little bit of, of a raft here and support here and you print it out like it, like nothing. This was the easiest one I printed out and it took around four hours. Uh, not much filament, it went like smooth. This was the easiest one. And this, the bottom of it. <clears throat> this was four or five fails too. I tried to first print it like this. It didn't work. I will get a lot of stringing when it was started because when it was trying to make the raft, it will do a raft around here, but then the raft here, and then I don't really don't understand why it was happening, but the filament will, the nozzle will hit the filament at this too, because I think the wraps were too small. So something with the G code, it used to lift it up. And at the end of the day, I just had to print it like this. And by printing it like this, I got this, but this was, this is a nightmare, guys. This is hard as anything that you can think of. Uh, I'm gonna try to take it off in front of you guys. I can't do it with my fingers, so I actually gotta get a tool for this. That's how difficult it is because of the support is so good. And then it's, it's, it's building in itself, so you need really good support. Uh, and it was so easy after that. It did this whole print like this, and it was the best print the best way and everything. Other ones he failed, so I had to stop the machine like a couple of times. Because uh, when I'm looking at it, I'm seeing if that raft doesn't stick to the bed of the 3D printer, it means it's gonna fail because once it doesn't stick, it means it's gonna come off and then there's gonna be a headache. Let me just get the tool for this. So I'm back guys, and I'm using this tool. And as you can see, it's not, it's, 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 it's really stick there. This is just, and I'm trying to be careful as much as I can. I don't want to break the helmet because it was a lot of hours and a lot of PLA. So, but you get the point. You're gonna do it like this. You you really can do it with your fingers. Uh, there's always a way that the uh, the the support is less 
strong than other ones. So then you do that and blah, 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 okay? You're gonna get a surface because you can't really take everything off, so you're gonna have to actually sand it and give it the look that you want. Actually, I gotta cover a little bit, but I got the material for that. So now we're gonna get to my favorite part, the jaw. This was one of the easiest parts. Okay, guys, this was easy. All I really had to do was I placed it in the slicer like this. It created support here and here, and it just went by it. And that's it. This was really easy too. This was one test print, and that's it. Like I didn't fail or anything. Put in the slicer, get the G code, place it into the printer, and it did it straight up. No headaches, nothing. It went like this. This was one of the easiest. That was. This part and this part were the easy. So this is the Mark 50 helmet. I still have to take all this and make it look even. And then I'm gonna tape it together so you guys can see how it looks. And uh, um, this uh, file is by Maxcraft. I really like that guy. I work a lot <laughs> on his stuff. Like I have Peppa Kuro files from him. So really like his designs and everything. And it, I like it because the helmets come divided into around what one, two, three, four, five pieces for an Ender 3. So much easier because the Ender 3 Pro is a small bed, but this makes it perfect. So this, like I was saying, uh, dude, I love this helmet. So next step, uh, next video, I'm just gonna put it together. I'm gonna show you how it looks together. After that, I'm gonna start sanding and I'm gonna start prepping it for painting and then I'm gonna put it together with magnets and all the stuff so it can come apart. It can, it's gonna be like a five helmet part and I gotta do my research. So let me know what you guys think. So actually so far, this is my favorite part right now. This. <laughs> so thank you for watching guys. I really appreciate coming down below. Like, subscribe, uh, share the video please so other people can see it. Let me know everything that you want to see uh i got a lot of projects too i got some spider-man face shows coming so please just watch and share all right guys thank you for watching have a good one peace take care guys bye bye